If you regularly go on electronic drumming groups or forums, you've probably seen these symbols doing the rounds, a brand called Lemon. Don't worry, you're not the first one to make the joke and I doubt you'll be the last one. They make a few different sizes of electronic symbol pads and I've got two of the 16 inch three zone ride pads to review. Let's get to it. Hey, welcome back to the eDrum Workshop. I'm Luke and I hope you're having a great day. I was planning on getting hold of these symbols a bit sooner, but there's been a bit of a transition for the workshop, as you might have noticed. But anyway, I've put two of these 16 inch lemon symbols through their paces to let you know what I personally think of them. But why did I buy two of these? Well, there's a couple of different ways of getting hold of these symbols. There's a seller doing the rounds on Facebook groups who's selling them for about $115 a piece, I think, plus shipping. And I know quite a few people in the Facebook groups have bought their symbols from this seller or you can opt to buy them directly from the manufacturer in China via their Alibaba store. Alibaba. Alibaba. Alibaba sounds normal with an American accent, but for some reason it sounds really childish to me with my English accent. Sorry, that's how I'm going to say it. Alibaba. And that's the route that I took to get mine, but when you go this way there is a minimum order of two units. The symbols themselves only cost about £28 each, which was $39 or so last time I checked. But obviously what pushes the price up a little bit is the fact that you've got to order two, and the shipping to the UK at least actually cost more than the two units themselves. Unfortunately, I didn't get hit by any duty or VAT, presumably because the price of the units themselves was actually pretty low. Depending on what country you're in, the price of shipping and the possibility of any kind of import fees will vary, so you'll have to check that out for whichever option you opt to go for. Considering there's not really any other symbols that you can get two of for £130, especially of this size, I was personally happy to pay this amount to try these two out. And speaking of the size, this is one of the first things that many people will point out, so I may as well too. These symbols are advertised as 16 inch in size, but in real reality they're just over 15 inches, just a touch larger than a Roland CY15R symbol. I knew this before I ordered them so it didn't really bother me but if I was caught by surprise it might have been a little bit annoying. Other than the size, the build of the symbol is pretty much what you would expect from a rubber coated plastic symbol pad and it does feel a bit cheaper in the hand than a brand like Roland or ATV but of course that's to be expected because these symbols are a lot cheaper. The pad rubber feels decent enough, it's a little bit firmer when you strike it with a stick than some other brands but I I think that's more because the rubber is thinner and personally I don't mind that so much especially when you're playing on the bow. A little quirk that I did notice when I was first looking over these symbols is that the bell zone rubber doesn't appear to be fully touching the plastic. As you can see there's a bit of movement here and I'll come back to that in a bit. I also found that in a few spots on the bow the rubber wasn't fully attached to the plastic on the symbol either. However this was pretty much contained only to the back side of the symbol that you don't play on. On the bottom of the symbol the plastic trim that the connections and the piezo are housed in is quite bulky but it's not like you're looking at it with it being on the bottom so that's fine and there are two jack connectors to make the three zones function in the same way that Roland three zone symbols work. You plug in ride one for the bow and edge and ride two for the bow and bell or you can just plug in the bow and edge jack to make it into a two zone symbol. Also very much like on Roland symbols there's a v-shaped seat where the symbol mounts to be used along with Roland's rotation stoppers so this is pretty useful if you've already got Roland stands and you're replacing one of your symbols with these lemon symbols or if you're adding this as an additional symbol you can get the Roland rotation stoppers quite cheaply online. They've also got these little plastic lips on the underside of the symbol where the rubber ends which is a little bit intrusive and not entirely necessary. The lip definitely could have been smaller and it would have worked just as well. You can end up grabbing these when you're choking the symbol which is a little bit awkward but personally for me it's not been that big of a deal. So first impressions they sort of remind me of Elisa Strike symbols to be honest. A bit cheaper feeling than the likes of Yamaha Roland or ATV symbols and a bit less flexible when you really lay into them but completely functional.
I was fully prepared to have to pull these symbols apart to swap around the internal wiring. This is something that's happened to a few different people. Some of these symbols have been sent out with the edge and the bell zone switched around. So when they've been playing on the bell they've got the edge sample and when they've played on the edge they've got the bell sample and the only way to choke the symbol is to press down on the bell switch. Unfortunately there is a simple fix for this that many people have pointed out. You can take the bottom off the symbol to access the internals and swap this connector around from one of the jacks PCB connectors to the other. When I hooked them up to my TD50 they both functioned the same as a CY13R or a CY15R and they're very playable symbols too. I didn't have to crank the sensitivity to get good bow triggering and the edge switch triggers as you'd expect it to. However the bell zone wasn't as sensitive as I'd hoped and it appears to be because of that loose rubber on the bell zone that I talked about before. Because the rubber isn't making full contact with the bell switch at all times it takes a bit of extra force to close the switch. So when I play lightly on the bell zone I'm only getting the bow sample up to a certain point. Now this is a bit of a shame and weirdly it's not something that I've seen anybody else really talking about much. But I can't really come down too hard on this symbol about it because even Roland symbols have been notorious over time for their bell triggering. On these lemon symbols it appears to be a simple design flaw that probably could have been avoided. I did actually pull one apart to see if I could remedy this easily. It's a simple process getting the rubber off. I gently used a flathead screwdriver to peel back the rubber from underneath. Then you can carefully pull the rubber off the symbol. It does have some adhesive keeping it in place Place, but it easily detaches and as long as you keep the adhesive clean from dust or debris it will reseat just fine. I added a few pieces of double sided foam tape to the bell switch so that this raised rubber area would hit the foam sooner putting pressure on the switch and closing it with less force. And this did seem to work pretty well for me while testing but I don't know whether this would be the perfect long term solution. Personally I'm only going to be using these as two zone symbols in the future so it's not really going to affect me. I tested these symbols out on my Roland TD27 and TD17 too and they performed just as well as they did on the TD50 as both a three zone ride and a two zone crash. However the Pearl Mimic Pro is fully compatible with Roland symbols like the CY13R and the CY15R and I've never had a problem when hooking those up but for some reason on these symbols those zones are flipped around on the Mimic. and I'm not going to pretend to understand exactly why this has happened. So I opened up the symbol and I did swap around the internal wiring in the way that I talked about before and lo and behold it works correctly now on the Mimic Pro. So for whatever reason if you've got one that's wired up correctly for Roland modules it will be flipped on the Mimic. However when I hooked it up as a two zone crash with the Roland wiring it functioned completely normally. So it's just something to keep in mind if you've got a Mimic and you want to use one of these as a ride symbol. As long as you're not regularly swapping between different modules you can just flip the internals round if it's wired up the wrong way for you. So overall these Lemon symbols function pretty well and they have the potential to function very well depending on your exact usage. If the wiring arrives the correct way round for your module then you'll get pretty good results out of the box with a Roland style preset. If it isn't the correct way around then you'll just have to be happy with opening up that bottom plate and swapping the connection. And if you don't fancy doing that then this might not be a gamble that you'd want to take. The bell triggering leaves a bit to be desired but there are potential fixes if you're happy to experiment and it's going to kind of depend on your playing style. If you play a lot of rock and you mostly use the shoulder to hit the bell then it's probably going to trigger just fine. And it's not like every other big brand has nailed this on every iteration of their symbols either. They are really cheap after all so you're always going to run into potential quirks or inconsistencies in quality. One of the things that you are paying for with a no brand is increased quality control and that becomes even more apparent at this cheap end of the market. However all things considered I think these are great for the price and you're not going to find any other 16 
well, 15 or so inch cymbal pad that triggers this well for this price. And if you just want to use these as two zone crashes, they're even better because you don't have to worry about the bell triggering. So these are going to be staying on my kit as two zone crashes because I like the size of them and they trigger well enough for what I need them to do. So what do you think of these lemon cymbals? Have you tried one yourself, either the 16 inch ones or any of the other sizes? Let me know down in the comments. I'm hoping that the other size cymbals perform just as well as these ones did. I hope you enjoyed this review or at least found it useful. Pop a like on the video if you did and don't forget to subscribe for other electronic drum related news reviews, tutorials and tips and tricks. If you want new kits or samples for your electronic drum module, don't forget to check out my store at theedrumworkshop.com and above all, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!